One of the first industries in New England was the harvesting of cranberries. But it's what was discovered under those bogs, iron ore, that sparked an entirely different business, the manufacturing of building nails. Our Doug Meehan takes us inside America's oldest maker of nails. That's in tonight's Made in Mass. This is about as old school manufacturing as it gets. Sheets of steel are cut into strips. They are then heated to 1,200 degrees, then sliced by huge heavy machinery. In turn, you got yourself the perfect square cut nail. Sounds like you got manufacturing going on in here. Here you go. <laughs> Eric DeLong is president of Acorn Manufacturing in Mansfield. Cuts it, drops it down, heads it, drops it down. Several years ago, this family-owned business bought Tremont Nail, the last maker of square cut nails in the entire U.S. The beauty of a square cut nail is that it has, because of the shape of the nail and because of the blunt point, when it's driven with the grain, it cuts through the wood rather than wedging apart, causing it to split. With machines dating back to the mid-1800s, the tradition of Tremont continues some 200 years after it first started. These machines are much faster than we could do on a power press because we can't do the two-step process where we put actually shear the nail and head it at the same time. In addition to some 20 different square cut and masonry nails, Acorn also manufactures forged hardware and accessories. Eric admits his business fits in a unique niche within the marketplace and nails manufactured overseas can be bought at a lower cost. However, he dares any company to be more committed to quality as those that work here at Acorn. A nail, a square cut nail like this, will probably last 100 years. And you can still pull it out. I mean, if you can get it out. Although these steel cut nails go back to Roman times, here in the U.S., farmers would forge the nails during the winter months, and they were so valuable, many times when the farmers would move, that actually burned down their buildings and rake out the nails from the rubble. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB, News Center 5.